You're listening to Conquered TV this week, which you guessed it, is brought to you by Conquered TV. And welcome back to Conquered TV This Week, the podcast version. Yep, we are back. It's not just me. I keep saying we. I'm not sitting in a room by myself this time like I usually am. I have volunteer Matt with me. Matt, hey, welcome into the podcast. Hey, Josh. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> hey. <laughs> just hey. And that was Matt. Thanks, everybody. We'll yeah. see you next time. No, but uh, Matt's been volunteering with us for... Uh, the last couple weeks helping us out with video camps. You've been helping us just with editing some videos together. Uh, I know it hasn't been like, it's, it's, it's interesting because when we have camp, it's the, like the busiest week possible for us. And then the off weeks, we kind of all exhale and you can tell it's not quite the same hectic pace. Um, but what has it been like for you, at least being in two weeks of camp so far, you had gone to the camps before, but what was it, what's it been like being on the other side of it? Well, uh, it's a very different experience because I know the camps, it's more like recording, filming, all that, the acting. But this, you kind of like step back and let them figure it out, and put in some help when needed. But the they mostly do most, most of the filming and editing and everything. You only are there to help if needed. It's, it's a different experience i guess that's the best i got yeah <laughs> yeah it is a different experience hold on a second i'm gonna hit record on the camera because i totally forgot that oh wow great job josh oh no i didn't forget no it is recording oh <laughs> uh, i've <laughs> lost my mind oh what is going on it's only wednesday but uh absolutely i, I like what you're saying about like letting them do the work um, there's always sort of, and I've been doing the camps for like seven years now. Oh boy, yeah. where's the time gone? Oh. And it's always this weighing between, do I jump in and run a camera for them? Do I jump in and do the work for them where my work will probably be better than theirs? No offense to them. Or your work would probably be better than the campers. Yeah, we just have uh, more experience. with the... Right. But then they're not learning as much. So it's kind of... I tend, I'll jump in if we have a couple shots left and we're running out of time and we just have to kind of get through it. But I think philosophically, it's kind of you weigh between how much work do I do for them or how much do you just show them or kind of teach them or kind of work with them. And I'm sure you've noticed, Matt, too, that the different age groups can handle that a little bit differently. Yeah. We had a big difference between the week one group and the week two group. I think both groups were both groups were good. I mean, don't get me wrong. But the younger kids, the younger age groups, maybe there's some, they're not really looking to make the best films possible. That's not their goal in camp. Yeah. Right? Would you agree with that? I, yeah, definitely. I mean, there were some who didn't even want to make videos. They would just kind of sit around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's it's that makes it tough. But then you see there's the kids who really are interested in the process and they want to be part of the camp. And, and those are the kids that we like working with although even for the kids who maybe don't like the filming sometimes you can find other avenues for them you know yeah. maybe they like acting or maybe they like the editing um and we try to push certain kids in those directions like you saw last week we had really only a couple kids who really liked the editing yeah but the ones who did how quick they pick it up and you guys were the same way i know when we had you in camp you know, you and Lex and Ryder and people like that, <laughs> that you guys pick up the editing so quick. And I know someone like Lex who, I mean, he knows like Adobe After Effects. He, you know, you guys can take these skills and like go beyond and not just use these things at camp. I know, I think Dylan was saying how like he was excited to have Premiere at camp because he doesn't get to use it. He doesn't have Premiere at home. Like, yeah. Most people don't. So camp is also a cool chance to kind of experience that more. So, uh, do you miss being an actual camper? Do you miss being on that side of it? Or now that you're older, not really? I kind of miss it, but not so much. Because I can kind of like... I can help out, but I don't have to be like... Paying, like, f have my full focus on it all the time. Trying to come up with all kinds of ideas. Because all that, I kind of can just step back and let them come up with the ideas. Help out as needed. I like that more, I'd say. And it seems like you like the responsibility of being on our side of it, helping out as a, a volunteer. And yeah, I think it really sets you up for a bright future where, you know, you're 
still pretty young, but you're you're learning how to be a staff person for something like this. Um, now you had been telling me about there's some other like over the summer you had gone to a really interesting camp. I don't know if you wanted to talk about that at all. It was it was last week, right? Or the week, or the week before? before. Oh, the week that's before. right. We had camp it was last between week. The, yep. It was between the two camp weeks. Yeah. So uh, I do this uh, program called the Civil Air Patrol. It's basically the uh, Air Force Auxiliary the citizen side. So um, they they had a week long boot camp type thing, and so I spent the week there. That was interesting. Yeah, that's the best way you can describe it. It's interesting. Right. So I mean, from what you had told me, it's a lot of waking up early and a lot of discipline and a yeah. lot of. I mean, they treat you like you're adult basically, and they treat you like you're at real boot camp. So yeah, rubber chickens. My God. Yeah. So how did that, <laughs> but how did it, I mean, you said it's an interesting camp experience going from helping with Concord TV where it's kind of laid back, busy, but laid back going to that experience and then coming back to Concord TV the week after. Was that kind of a jarring change of environments? I mean, the first Concord TV week, I was thinking of it as a little bit difficult. And then I go there and have like all that super extreme discipline and everything, waking up 530 every day. And then come back to this and everything seems so laid back it's it's weird (laughs) it puts into perspective doesn't it yeah what you're saying is we need to be more like drill sergeants then is what you're telling me please no 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 i'll i'll I'll, I'll keep that in mind no i mean i can help you out with that i can like like every (laughs) time every time like we don't like one of our takes 15 push-ups right yep exactly camp can run from like 5 30 a.m to like 5 30 p.m 5 30 p.m 12 hours a day with with like uh We'll run laps at Memorial Field, mm-hmm. r- holding cameras, mm-hmm. like like a yep. videographer boot camp. No, it's like, like those chase scenes where the cameraman is just chasing the, like there are those <laughs> documentaries where they're just like chasing the people or the aliens oh. or whatever. Anytime we have videos like that at camp, those end up coming out really bad because Dinosaur. they're the the shakiest. Because they're the shakiest, they're just like you know. So anytime I see movies like that, I hate that because they can be well done. You know, like um, Cloverfield or um, Blair Witch Project. Those can yeah. be well done, like the found footage videos. But um, when you, well, like an amateur or like in a, a video camp environment, those always end up coming out poorly because you have these, you know, they're good cameras, but not, you know, high level cinematography cameras and inexperienced camera people. So that's why we're always trying to encourage clear stories, use a tripod or at least handheld without running you know yeah maybe instead of running you know i don't think anyone's done this yet but you could wheel someone like in a chair you know do like a dolly shot (laughs) and we have a car no one's no one's thought of doing it yet but we oh my god a couple years ago i think we did where you set the camera on like a cart and then you just wheel it down the hallway and that way it might have a little bit of shake but that's better than when someone's running and they're like you know it's like bouncing up and down the camera and everything exactly exactly so uh yeah, so I think that's good for now, Matt, and uh, appreciate you helping out, appreciate having our volunteers helping out, um, and look forward to working with you as you come to Concord High School. So thanks a lot, Matt. Yeah, thank you. And we're back here in the studio here with the man himself he needs no introduction so uh, i wait wait you're introducing he, me nope he needs he's a man who needs no introduction so thanks for joining me <laughs> <laughs> wait who am i <laughs> i don't know like i said he's a man you know oh, we boy. all know we all know who you are matt Two. All right, wait, I'm not Matt Two. Matt Two oh, is just here. Oh, no, we had the, I forgot, we had the music break. Now it's Mike O'Mara, <gasps> IT director and city I'm producer. And, and, and oh. yeah, yeah, I'm not adding the studio applause. So oh, eh. that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. See, I sit in the server room all day long, so I don't get much applause. Anytime Mike goes on camera or in front of a microphone, he makes up these lies. <laughs> No <laughs> lies, pure lies, pure lies. So, what's been going on lately, Mike? What's uh, what's the buzz? Oh well, uh, we're having an exciting summer here at uh, Concord TV. Uh, obviously, you've been dealing with the uh, youth video camps. Dealing, dealing, dealing with, dealing with, having fun with the youth video camps. Yep. Uh, the kids are great, and mm-hmm. I unfortunately 
I, I guess dealing with that. I, I unfortunately only get to have fun with them every once in a great while. And it's, As an actor but it's, sometimes. But. Right. But it's fun to see them running around and using mm-hmm. the equipment and uh, and learning about film and video. Yeah, you deal with more ones and zeros, kind of. Like, I deal with a lot more orders. ones and zeros. So certainly, yeah. you know, always, we're always looking at what sort of equipment upgrades we need to do. As a matter of fact, we've got some brand new equipment u- upgrades here in the podcast studio with uh, the Sounds new microphones. Sounds good, doesn't, doesn't it? it? Oh, well, but, So, and you were also, you were pretty busy. I know people in podcast world love hearing about stuff like reports and analytics. Oh, <laughs> yes. Let me tell you about analytics. Three hours later. Right. <laughs> and that's how. We find out our value. Yeah, I just I just cut out. You guys can't tell. I just cut out a three hour block of Mike <laughs> talking about analytics. I get really excited about analytics. It's very exciting numbers and things like that. No, nah, yeah. not really. But we do as part of our contract with the city and 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 just you know anybody that's a stakeholder, which is basically any citizen in Concord. We got to tell folks what we're doing and uh, certainly we are going through now our fiscal year ends in June, uh, so we're looking. What sort of stuff have we done for the city of Concord yep. uh, and its residents in the school district? So um, we are quite literally, literally uh, going Our through, <laughs> going yep. through hundreds, uh, thousands of of shows that were broadcast on our channels just to show what sort of yep. content we're actually producing in town uh, and uh, with the city and with the school district. And uh, definitely we were we were busy, busy bees this last year, which is exciting and great. Yep. Yep. Um, but speaking of, of, of creating content, of course, I am uh, liaison for the city of Concord. Liaison. liaison. I like to just say city producer, kind of. I don't know. I like Whichever liaison. you like, liaison. I like liaison. Because yep. you guys produce city content sometimes, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And liaison, it sounds like you're f- friendly. Right, right. You're, that you're we not. shake hands. You're a lot. not, as everyone Hi. can tell you. Hi. Bad radio. radio. <laughs> that was terrible radio. <laughs> Hope, uh, yeah, yeah, we just shook hands. We got to create a sound for that, actually. It's <laughs> the handshake sound. That was. That There's was no the sound handshake. effect for handshaking because there really should are, be. But handshakes are silent. Oh, the one from uh, Predator, where Schwarzenegger and, and what's his name do the like? Oh, the the slap. And it goes, <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, we got to try that. Yeah, ready, right, ready. <laughs> Again, there we go. Terrible, terrible radio. <laughs> this is good. I'm sure everybody. We are, we're recording this on video too. Right, so you can so see us see being that. idiots yep. as well as hear us being idiots. But that is part of the challenge with the podcast studio is. Um, it's a completely different medium. I know we've, mm-hmm. you and me worked on this room back in like January of 2018 or February. Yeah. Um, and in the meantime, we've had people producing in here and kind of still, it's been a long process. A lot of other public access stations don't even have something like this. Right. Um, I know Derry does. I know some of the Massachusetts stations do. Mm-hmm. And they're still figuring out how does it relate to their regular policies. Mm-hmm. Um and it seems like most of them are having some sort of requirement like what we're doing about also recording it on video um, because we are a TV production facility. That is true. So trying to keep in mind, yes, podcasting is another way of getting out your message. Um, I think it's also a way that you could have a TV show also in a podcast format like we do with community conversations. For right, instance. right, absolutely. So you can kind of do it. Vice versa, where we've we've definitely got some uh, people, New Hampshire Unscripted comes to mind. I think even uh, Title Chasers yep. uh, recently did a yep. recording of their uh, Starting um, to podcast, be- too. Yep. Um, so you can do it that way. But, yeah, like with Community Conversations, do a video show first. But if it's a, a talk format or a format that lends itself to an audio experience, well, let's give the people an audio people experience. People what they want, yeah. And I know from, like, a consumer perspective, there are times where... I'm not going to watch a video, you know. Oh, yeah. That yeah. there's certain podcasts that I really like listening to, mostly like sports and politics and things like that. Mm-hmm. You know, Bear Brook podcast, some of uh-huh. those um, that I wouldn't, if there was a show, you know, yeah. I'm doing other things. I don't, there's a whole reason. If I'm driving, I'm not going to sit there and watch the show. Uh, so, he's lying. I've seen him drive while watching a show. If you see me show, driving around just... Concord, yeah. <laughs> and I'm, 
and I'm watching something on my phone. I mean, we I joke, see. but literally I pull up at, at intersections and there are people looking straight down. As there they, are. They very well could be watching yes. Handmaid's I've, Tale. I've sat through light cycles before. And the, yeah, you don't honk <laughs> your horn at them? You just let them? I, I just let them. I just let them go. Oh, no, I wait like. Well, sometimes they're I, watching something interesting and I want to see. Yeah, you know, you I want to see what's happening. And you see the monitor and you're like, right. oh, 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 new Handmaid's Tale. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh, I like this. Yeah. Ooh, Office Space. I like this uh-huh. movie. Yeah. Uh-huh. I remember but, this one. A but yeah. So with podcasts, at least, it's a safer way for people while they're commuting. Because a lot of people that work in Concord may not live in Concord. Yep. Um, and, and sometimes, that, you know, even around the house, you're doing some mm-hmm. chores. And it's it's just a little easier to listen to a story while you're washing the dishes or yep. something than trying to watch a a show. Especially if you don't want to see Mike and I's ugly faces. Oh my just, god, it's just terrifying. Listen, just listen to We us go instead. through six cameras a week here. Six cameras a week because we break them <laughs> with our ugly mugs. Just lens replacements, just, yeah. <laughs> There's no filters that can uh, protect a camera from oh, that. It's, yeah. terrible. it's terrible. So, um, speaking of, of content, you mentioned being yeah. city liaison, and we have um, Susie and Stephanie come in. They actually just hit their one-year mark of doing the Talk Concord podcast. That's correct. And they've discussed a lot of good things. So we don't need to steal their thunder uh, in podcast format. But mm-hmm. I thought the Real Riders video oh, that you yeah, recorded Rail and, that, Riders. and that Matt uh, edited, I thought that was a really cool Oh, yeah. That was a, a really fun thing uh, where we were with Susie uh, mm-hmm. from Economic Development. Uh, yep. I believe Councilor Brent Todd was up there. Uh, and Stephanie was there. Uh, basically, a, a, just a new way of utilizing the abandoned, or, um, mostly abandoned rail track, uh, rail tracks uh, north of downtown Concord, uh, from Horseshoe Pond up to Penacook. Uh, bikes that ride up and down those rails now. So putting putting a non-utilized piece of infrastructure to a really unique use, uh, a part of what makes Concord a really interesting place to go. So we were there for the ribbon cutting. It's uh, The business just opened. So um, it'll be interesting to see how that goes and, uh, and uh, what sort of other unique things come Concord's way as, yep. as time goes on. I'm just imagining that during like foliage season, like we should maybe try to get back up there mm. once it's during peak foliage. And oh, try to I'm sure it's pretty. Get something up there. I'm sure so. it's real pretty. And the video did really well, both on YouTube and on Facebook. See, see, I think Josh is the one that yeah. always likes bringing it back to analytics. I, th- I think that's what it. Uh, you <laughs> well, know, it's, he's you trying know, to blame me. I, I, but I, I think Josh out, is I the geek analytics. out over those numbers. I really do, it is. which it's is ironic fun. because usually my videos get the worst <laughs> analytics. <laughs> but I, I, he lies. He his videos do quite well. It depends. It depends on what it is. And Facebook, as we know, is is can be shady and and weird about the way it hey hey <laughs> be careful i'm just saying it is i Hi guys facebook, facebook i'm mark, mark zuckerberg i, I, I notice you're talking about facebook <laughs> mark zuckerberg what are you doing here <laughs> uh, you know i just i just heard you guys talking about facebook and i wanted to say hi yeah and, uh, mike just stepped out for a second but uh uh Oh, here comes Mike back into the room. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. I'm back. I, you know, I, I thought I saw Mark Zuckerberg leave actually, the room. It's weird. He climbed out through the ceiling. There, yeah. See, this is the sad part about videotaping this is that there's video proof of Mark Zuckerberg being here, right? Yeah. Uh, we'll edit that in We'll later. have to scrub that out. Right. <laughs> we'll have to scrub that out. We'll have to put a mat over right. him or something. But we, yeah. we have done, well, I guess we'll go back to content, uh, but with the city, uh, we have done a lot of uh, interesting things so far this summer. Of course, the new skate house or uh, lodge, Merrimack Lodge. That's yeah, a beautiful Up building. at White yep. Park uh, was just open this year. It is gorgeous. I believe it is open uh, for a few hours every day. Uh, we also did some the uh, uh, pool season is uh, amazingly enough it's hard to believe but pool season is coming to a close but we did a little uh, feature of Parks and Rec on pool uh, where uh, got all kinds of other projects coming uh, in the months of head uh, with the city so uh, it's been really exciting since the addition of uh, Stephanie Breton as a public information officer over at the city of Concord we've been engaged with them a lot more uh, to provide video content on behalf of the city, um, really for the benefit of the citizens of Concord, so that right. uh, they are aware of what sorts of things are going on in the city, uh, both 
opportunities available to them, recreational um, mm-hmm. things from the library, you know, what have you, but informational too. You know, one of our more popular videos with them, surprisingly enough, was a uh, overview of the new tax bill uh, that uh, was Ooh. overhauled this year. Not very exciting, but important. Granted, but very important, and it helped um, answer a lot of questions for people before they uh, <laughs> before they called to. Uh, register their ire with the city of Concord on that new bill. Uh, it, it really helped explain it fully and and help people understand um, what they were seeing when they got that new tax bill, so that they weren't surprised or shocked or or what have you. So um, you know we run the gamut of the the sort of things that we're doing at the city, and um, we're only looking to further that relationship and and do an even better job of keeping folks in the city of Concord informed about uh, what's going on on their behalf. The yeah. city government. Well, you know, it's important you mentioned Stephanie and having a PIO and how that's really been a game changer. But not to pat our own backs, but Mike, you it's one thing for them to, to be to say, you know, this is what we want covered. That's half the battle. Mm-hmm. But then also having it done well and having things produced well, you've done a great job with that. So, Aw, uh, thanks. And Josh. and Matt and anyone else who's pitched yeah, in and, to kind and of Josh help does out. a fantastic job with the school district too. I, yep. I know uh, I think I don't know if you have yet, but I know you'll be talking a little bit about some of the infrastructure improvements mm-hmm. at the school. Uh, that yeah, been... not the most glamorous, but again, important. The community likes seeing yeah. things like that. It, it's yeah. uh, we do our best to to try and keep the public informed about all the different things going on in the city. And of yep. course, you know, I appreciate the the. Um, compliment uh, as far as uh, being Careful, there to help produce. Back, I know you will. I know. I know. Back. He will. He will. Uh, but, um, you know, uh, I always like getting other people involved. So certainly we've got other staff here. But, um, you know, one thing that I've really enjoyed working, uh, people I've enjoyed working with over the past year, some of the volunteers, particularly some of the high school students who, you know, during the school year, they're doing our CHS live uh, morning announcement show for the high school, but they've helped us on numerous other yep. uh, events and things like that because it, we're a pretty small staff when it comes down to it. Uh, and uh, anybody who's been living in Concord recently knows there's an awful lot of stuff going on. Uh, not just events either, just uh, all kinds of activities and, and uh, opportunities and things like that, and and we can't cover every last thing alone. No, we cannot. Um, so when we do get volunteers, hint, hint to anybody listening, uh, we love showing them how to use the equipment. Uh, we love having them come in for classes, get certified on the equipment, certified to use our editing bays, and uh, then helping us in, in telling the story of the city of Concord, whether it's a more personal story because you'd like to do a, some sort of talk show with our uh, producer support program or a story about greater Concord and, and some aspect of it that you really like. Um, so, um, yeah. One, but, one of my goals with this podcast, but also just in us maybe in more promotional content is we do have some good volunteers now. I mean, we talked to Matt earlier in the podcast, mm-hmm. uh, Matt too, not staff yes, member, Matt, Matt, too. Matt, too, Matt too, um, who's going to be a, a freshman at Concord high school coming up this fall. And we have Megan and we have Perry, we have Joe, we have Dan who does what's happening at the Audi, mm-hmm. Ray Dudley getting more involved. Um, so there are good volunteers. And I think what I want to highlight is, Going forward, the volunteers we have, not hearing from us necessarily about volunteers, but to hear in their own words about why they like being involved. Um, I think that will kind of, I think for any nonprofit, that's always important to hear from volunteers themselves about um, why they enjoy Mm -hmm. being involved. And I think we haven't done that enough. And that's just, we're so busy just trying to get our core work done. Right. But I think going forward, you'll hear a lot more from our existing volunteer base about, um, why they like being here, mm-hmm. you know, what what it was that drew them in, what they do. Mm-hmm. And I think that will help give the community a better idea of what we're looking for and also just kind of how we're sort of like a, a family here. We Aww. like to have fun. Thanks, we, we, have, we have a lot of fun. We have so much fun. <laughs> I don't know if this bit's going to translate well into podcast format. <laughs> Yay. You know, we're just really enthusiastic, right? And um, just yeah. we um, come I, in every day, passionate about 
<laughs> See yeah, this bit? Right. No, it's not translating well. No, no, it's, it's doing it's doing maybe, a terrible. Maybe the video, thing. maybe. Yeah, hi. <laughs> no, I don't think no, because uh, we just look like we're staring at the mics kind of dully <laughs> as, as usual. some sort of yeah. drone comes out of our mouths. It's great. It's great. But yeah, so absolutely, that's uh, uh-huh. getting volunteers involved. And, s- and see, if you're a volunteer, you can experience our unique brand of you can humor. See how I'm pretty sure Matt too has witnessed firsthand just how quirky and weird we are. Yeah, we we could get a little like good strange though, fun strange in a fun way, and definitely just we're, absolutely we are. We you know we're a fun loving group and. We like what mm-hmm. we do, and we like having more people involved. And yeah, if I had a kazoo yeah. right now, I'd start playing it, Josh. Uh, That's in fun. the in the memo I sent you. I asked for you to bring a kazoo. So oh. what do you mean you didn't bring one? I'm sorry, you didn't bring one. <laughs> there we go. Kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we're getting yeah, a little I, off the track there. We are. So uh, let's wrap it up. Let's head back to work. We have a lot of other things going on. Um, we do. Real quick, a uh, couple upcoming productions we have, depending on when people listen to this. Mm. So you can watch for these videos soon. We have Camp in Town, which is an in-town yes. Concord event, brand new event that they have. That's a free event on Saturday uh, happening at the City Plaza and on the State House yep. lawn. Team, team Main Street South, yeah. Uh, I'm Main Street North, kind of. South. I, mean, I live way beyond Main South. Street North. But, so if we do if we do tug of war, then uh, we'll be on opposite teams. So yeah, we will. hopefully people go to that. If you don't have a chance to go, we'll have a video the following week on that. And then Sunday is Rock On Fest, which yes. is also happening, I think, if it's the same location as last year, North Main Street. They usually block it off right yeah, in front of the Yeah, usually house. right in front of the State House. Yep. And they put a basketball court there. It's a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. We'll be there. And lots of music, too. Yep. I'll be there recording Concord versus Fire uh, basketball game, and then CHS Unified, and then CHS uh, Basketball versus Brady, and other stuff, the music and whatnot mm-hmm. as well. So hopefully everybody goes, but if you don't have a chance to go, the videos will be out. I never want our videos to be like people like, then I'm not going, but... These events are just really cool for people to go to. And, Trust and me, it's a lot more fun to be at these events in person. Maybe watch the videos much... to see if you got into the video, maybe. Oh, like, that's a like, good see, idea. Like, and the other thing, too, is because where we're there videotaping, you don't have to, like, whip out your cell phone to videotape that's right. the event. Just, we're just there. Be there in we're the doing moment. the work for you. Be there in the moment. Keep your phone in your pocket, you know. Unless you have like an emergency and you need, yeah, to use yeah, your then phone. then use your then phone. use your phone. Then, yeah, yeah, don't um, don't don't Conquer like TV be explaining to, to people after. Phone. Right, I'm sorry. Mike and Josh that's said, why, "Don't use my phone." That's why you lost your leg, Dad. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> because Conquer TV said to. <laughs> oh, that would be weird. That'd be yeah. weird. So no, but if don't you don't have to record everything. So if you see us at Rock On Fest, you can wave at us. And yeah, go. come say hi. And that's it. Just say hi and then walk away. Oh, no. They I, I, nope. I can say. Walk, no. Nope. Walk okay, away. Okay, fine. Mike's chatty. I'm not usually chatty. I'm, I'm very chatty. <laughs> Josh Mike's is chatty. very focused when he's very. filming. He's very focused. I'm... Eh, depends who you are. Yeah. Depend- no, I, I do like chatting. Yeah. I, I Technically, I should be more open to being chatty than I have been before. Right. But, yeah, I'm very uh It's weird because you're the friendlier looking guy. <laughs> I'm the more friendlier looking guy. What's that <laughs> right. supposed to mean? How dare Look, you're you? You're friendly. How dare you? You're friendly. I'm supposed oh, to be on. off-putting. <laughs> How dare you? Okay. More black under the eye. More mascara. <laughs> more goatee. I have, I have been wanting to listen to more. Actually, like evil goatee. That would be. That would make you unfriendly. Evil. But I bet you more people would talk to you. Evil. Go- Evil goatee. Evil goatee. Evil goatee, Josh. Okay, so we'll have to pick up on this next time. I'm, I'm considering wearing eyeliner, and <laughs> yeah. wearing, having an evil goatee. Yeah, and... yeah, that's. What, I think that's what makes you like circa 1996 or so. I think that was like that's a, almost before that's like my a time. that's like a hacker sort of outfit, isn't it? I don't know. Yeah, like careful, a Gen there's X been, hacker. There been hackers in the news lately, Mike. We shouldn't bring them up. You know the the was oh, it City Bank. Oh uh, no, Capital One. Capital One. Yeah. That's it, yeah. yeah. Hopefully, I get more money like Equifax is giving all of us. The what? <laughs> yeah. I'm not. This isn't a current events podcast. Mike. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for bringing that. Up. <laughs> you can you can turn over to the NHPR podcast if right. you want more. Uh, uh, yeah, more about current data breaches. Current, that current data breaches. Reveal yeah. all our. Uh, 
Hi, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, I noticed Get out of here, Mark. Get out of here. Get out of <laughs> here. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, Jeez, okay. Louise. Before he comes back in here again, <laughs> let's wrap up and I'll just say if you like what you're hearing, don't forget to subscribe to us and give us some feedback. It'll definitely impact whether we continue making these on a regular basis. Absolutely. Uh, Hopefully po- more than six Positive and negative people. feedback. Yeah. More than yep. six, maybe eight or ten. Yeah. Eight um, or ten, I think I'm, I'm good on continuing this. Even just a couple people rating it, subscribing it, it mm-hmm. really does. Uh, you've heard other podcasters say that. Or just with our video content, engagement helps us know, helps validate that we're on the right track and that we are providing value to the community. So Absolutely. please subscribe. Absolutely. Please tell other people if... You care about Concord. We're hoping this podcast uh, delivers some of the information about Concord, but in kind of a fun way. Yeah. And hopefully with no Mark Zuckerberg next time. Yeah. Hopefully we, we've kept him out. Do you think when we post this on Facebook, uh, it's yeah, going to like. Jeff Bezos. <laughs> I don't know if you should watch the talking about Zuckerberg anymore. <laughs> when we post this on Facebook, they're going to like automatically flag it as like making fun yeah, of them. Yeah, they will. Don't they make fun of Amazon hear. either. It's oh, jeez. I know. I, we got to be careful The nowadays. higher powers, the powers that be. All right, That's why. So. Support your local community media and we, support your local community. We love supporting local. Absolutely. And with that, we're going to sign off. This has been Josh and Mike for Conquer TV this week, and hopefully we'll see and hear from you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.